Every time we plan to go up the Chief, it's like we're going home. One of the unwritten rules when it comes to rigging missions is carry as much weight as you possibly can and pretend to enjoy the following suffering up the mountain. Between you and me, I can just barely keep up. You're jumping in the deep end. The Chief itself is such an iconic backdrop towering over Squamish. The deep gullies torn into the side of the granite just so happen to make one of the best highlining spots in the world. Uh, we're gonna try and rig all of these before it starts raining. Yeah, we figure we got about three hours, so I think we're just gonna take it one by one. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a tagline across right now. I'm doing that. It's definitely been well appreciated having the German crew around. They bring a more focused and serious approach to just about everything. I think they're enjoying Canada so far, but honestly, it can be hard to tell when you have no idea what they're yelling at each other. Mit der Tagline und dem Padding da, es kommt gleich jemand mit dem Anker für die nächste Line. That's what they say. A lot of people are so tired after just hiking up here, they don't have energy to do anything else. But for us, that's like, that's the warm up. That's like where, that's where it all starts. And then after that, you have like the really physically demanding part, which is walking the high lines. Europeans are monsters. They really are. They're, they're machines. They're athletes. They're out there every minute that they can be. It's just a change of pace. You know, they have such a different style and they have this whole new bag of tricks that they're inventing. Solo. <laughs> um, yeah. Do you want me to say something about those two words? Free solo highlining is when you walk the high line without any protection. So no harness, no leash, nothing attaching you to the line. So if you were to fall, you would die. Of course, it's it's something very magical. I think about slacklining something quite challenging and something quite pure at the same time. I do not think it is something for the average person, nor does the average person feel they need to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, I free solo too. <laughs> are, you, are you ready for people to to know that you free solo? One thing I learned while following Spencer is how deeply personal the motivations for soloing really are. And rightly so, it's not something that's really talked about in the moments before it happens. So this year, when Freddy started walking at this slow and steady pace over the line first established by the legendary Dean Potter, it wasn't hard to guess what he had in mind.
watching Freedy Solo was really cool for me because I had never been around somebody else free soloing. He can make his own way, but you know that I gotta go and I'm not a dog. You got to understand. I'm done playing games in the It's so cool to see somebody that you're so close with progress. I well up thinking about it, you know? It's just that like feeling you got like so proud, so proud of it. I've actually, to be absolutely honest, I've been um, free soloing for quite a while. My family probably thinks that I've never free soloed. When Freedy was last in Canada, he had actually done some solo walking of his own when not really anyone was around. He was very quiet about his solo thing and there were really a lot of people up there and he did his free solo just in front of everyone. He said, okay, I think Right now, it's the point I really can't hide it anymore. If I'm being honest, I don't know exactly what it is that makes filming highlining so fascinating for me. But there's something beautifully simple about all the work that goes in just so one person at one time can go out and push themselves just a little bit further. With most of us not really getting much out of the water lining at Brom Lake, I really feel like Mia had a chance to, to warm up her legs and she really built her confidence before going up the Chief. Mia's crushing. It's good. She's doing her first double drop knee. Yeah. There we are. Now look over. And Quit looking at us. Look at all the glory. <laughs> One of the truly unique things that Spencer brings to the community is his genuine excitement for seeing others push past their fears. Nice. <laughs> that doesn't that feel so cool. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. I've never walked in that clouds before. This is so cool. Any time that Mia goes out on a high line, there's a group of people that inevitably gathers to watch and cheer her on. And I think part of what makes her encouragement so genuine is that it truly is exciting when someone's progressing as fast as Mia is. With all of the lines now rigged, the gathering has just barely gotten started. And as Mia gets more comfortable with her fears, I'm excited to see her test herself on some bigger lines. I can never get enough of slow motion videos of these. Perfect. Uh, I 
kind of just oh my, my god intuition. did you ask people okay so you asked me a bunch of stuff about lucas do you ask other people shit about me oh probably yeah oh my god <laughs> oh my god Yeah, dude, hold it.